Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com daily. It's Thursday, July 18th, 2024, and now here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. Virgin Atlantic is pulling out of China after serving the country for 25 years. Virgin becomes the latest Western carrier to retreat from China, writes airline's editor Gordon Smith. Virgin Atlantic cited significant challenges and complexities as the reason for its decision. The carrier's final round-trip service to China will be the London-Shanghai flights on October 25th. Smith notes the closure of Russian airspace has made Virgin Atlantic's journeys even longer and helped increase the company's operating expenses. Virgin Atlantic's decision comes weeks after Qantas said it was pulling out of mainland China later this month. Next, business travel spending by U.S. companies may finally top pre-COVID levels by the end of this year, writes reporter Christiana Chardonnay. A newly released report by Deloitte found that U.S. companies' business travel spending is expected to grow between 8% and 12% this year. A Deloitte executive said that figure is projected to increase in 2025 as well, due to an increase in trips and higher airfare and hotel rates. In addition, the Global Business Travel Association predicted earlier this year that most travel buyers expected their company's business travel spending and volume to increase this year compared to 2023. Finally, Apollo Global Management's pending acquisition of the Travel Corporation could be a sign of more private equity deals to come in the tour operator and travel agency sectors, writes executive editor Dennis Shaw. A source familiar with the Travel Corporation said multiple private equity firms had also expressed interest in the company. The source added that travel agencies geared towards luxury consumers are attractive targets coming out of the pandemic. The Travel Corporation is a family-owned business, and the source said one factor driving the sale was that there was no heir apparent. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skift.com. Don't forget to follow or subscribe to this podcast wherever you're listening and help spread the word about the Skift Daily Travel Briefing by rating us five stars or leaving us a positive review. If you are watching on YouTube, make sure to subscribe to at Skift News and hit that notification bell to find out whenever a new episode is released.